All right, hello friends. Hello, hello. Let's see who's here. Busy Timmy, Dad Biner, hello. One Drunk Man, Latam Keys, Sol como estas? Tanuki, out here working so late. Nine Walker, what's up, buddy? How's it going, guys? Happy Thursday. I swear it feels like a Friday today, but it's not. It was a long day at work today. <laughs> but here we are. Building something again tonight. Oh, not sure why that's there. Alright. You look tired? <laughs> it's been a long day, that's for sure. I had a pretty long day. Long work day today. But I did want to build something today. It is Friday for me? Oh, it is. Connie, Nola, Atticus, what's up, buddy? Mail K, that's a nice PC, Alice. It's a. Uh, this is a Nunu. Nunu FE. From uh, Tomo Industrial Solutions. Mr. Tomo. Nice low angle Alice case. You could think of it that way. I'm at the tail end of finishing this paper. It's stressful. Papers are stressful. I'm luckily not in the paper grind right now, so that's good. But I'll at some point be in the in the paper writing grind. <laughs> and yeah, that's pain. That's proper pain all right friends so today we have this bad boy we have seen the prototype before uh, this is probably a different color different unit entirely but here is a production run cyberboard um, you can see what the case looks like very very bold custom LED wireless charging mech keyboard 2021 inspired by Tesla Cybertruck with a rebellious spirit from angry meow uh, if you don't know about the cyberboard it's um, this is like their third round of it now um, R3 I think R2 or R3 uh, but it's a 75% basically with a ton of LEDs a ton of stuff going on for LED control, um, and yeah, it is 75% layout as you can see. That's what it looks like. This is a nice briefcase though. Pretty cool, to be honest. But uh, definitely, you know, kind of a loud thing. Not my thing, but some people do like it. No error cluster looks good. Oh, thank you. I work on Saturday too. Saturday pays my keyboard money. Does Saturday pay have overtime pay included? Is it is it because it is overtime pay that is your keyboard money, or is it just because Saturday pays your designated day for it? Peaches. All right. So here we have the board. Let's take it out first and see what else is in the interior here. I have a piece of foam here, which I don't think is going to be used or anything. Some kind of cards. Uh, I guess they're like... Are they like labels? No, they're just like cards. I guess these are like if you're putting it on... I don't know what you're supposed to put this on, but some kind of cards. Clackbait, hello. And then we have a user manual and hardware, basically. Hours of writing technical documentation? Nah, I feel that. Alright, so very long user manual. Oh, it's because it's in several different languages. It's in... Let me see, what languages does this have it in? It's in Chinese, Japanese, and English, that's why. It's a very large manual, but very professional, very nice. 
Nice to see a proper manual. And then some stickers from Angry Meow. Pretty, pretty cute. And then hardware for torque screws and just some extra screws, I assume. First three hours is 1.5 time and next five hours is two times. Ooh, so I guess it makes sense that that is keyboard money. If you're getting, you're getting paid twice the amount. How exciting is that? Keyboard monies. All right, let's pick this out of the bag. Saturday paycheck is given in gift cards to different keeps vendors. <laughs> two days in a row must be our lucky day. <laughs> you got two boards in one day, Mr. Control Oz Dell. So it was your lucky day today. I hope you like them, or at least you're enjoying them so far. So far, so good, hopefully. How many custom boards come with a user manual? This is the first I've seen. I've seen maybe like, let me think. Oh, never mind. The Primus didn't really have a proper user manual. It was just directed to a user manual guide, but it was actually well structured. The Primus had a pretty well structured guide. I believe the Thermal had a pretty well structured guide as well. The Mono KK also had a manual. Um, what else is that a manual? Not too many boards with manuals, to be honest, but not every board needs a manual, frankly. So, yeah. All right, so we have, uh, this is the induction, the, the, indu the induction charger. Like, you know, if you have like induction coil based charging, you can use that like wireless charging. You can, you can charge this because this has a battery inside for you to use in like wireless mode. Um, and I believe I'm not soldering today at all because this is hot swap able. Um, so yeah, pretty nice. All right, USB must be connected on first boot, it says. And then press and hold for Bluetooth pairing, blah, 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 blah. So today will be a pretty fast build. I think the main time that will be consumed is going to be on the programming and on the stabilizers. So uh, let's actually open it up because we probably should. Uh, check it out on the inside. Hey, Nephilim, how are you? Can I turn it over and wirelessly charge my phone instead? I don't think it's supposed to go both ways, but I mean, that would be nice if you could. I don't think it comes charged though, so uh, at least I'm gonna assume it doesn't. Oh, I mean, I actually have to take this out anyway because I need to put the stabs on in a bit, so we have to take it apart anyhow. Someone else keeps, how are you? How's it going? Come on now, just grip on it and, all right, there we go. Okay, should come off. I think there's a daughter board in there, so we probably gotta be careful with that. So it's not the daughter board, it's more it's all the LED crap. Alright, so let me flip this over carefully. And we have a bunch of ribbon cables over here, as you can see. Thock thumbs, thank thank you so much for gifting a tier one sub to control Ozdell. Oh, how kind of you. Cyberboard was nice but a little steep. I think it's okay, typing angle wise. Alright, so we have a piece of foam here. And the second piece of foam. So we have a bottom piece of foam, Koran, pretty sure. And we have a piece of foam that goes under the PCB here, right under the all the all the good stuff here with the hot swap sockets. All right, let me just check the manual really quick, 
just to be 100% sure that I'm doing this right. What's base kit, blah, 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 disassembling, okay. All right, take off the ribbon cables, okay, from the PCB. So from the PCB, you just lift these guys up. And you just pull these out, basically. Oh, Thock Thumbs, thank you so much for gifting another tier 1 sub to Clackbait. How, how generous of you to do that. Uh, yeah. Ugh, and I, I just, I just trimmed my nails, so hard to grasp on the little, little tab here. Okay. Ah! Keep flipping it back. Alright, there. Okay, and then and then apparently the PCB is wait no there's nothing to disassemble here I think okay cool so I think this should just come off all right great this comes right off so there it is our assembly chill gam hello it's been a while has it been a while has it been long since we last chatted or seen you here. I don't think so, but maybe you're right. So this is the internal structure of this board, if you haven't seen. Um, so as you can see, there is... So this part here is like a screen. Uh, maybe it has like battery or info or something like that. I'm not sure exactly. Um, then there's basically a bunch of ribbon cables here connecting these different parts, like the LED control over here. So I assume this is for the LED control and here is the... Um, USB-C port um, and then there's ribbon cables that connect to the piece the main portion of the PCB uh, there are some pieces of foam for, uh, for it to um, insulate electrically for it to prevent ESD basically and then there's just very thin very very thin pieces of very very thin slices really of foam aligning the edges here uh, basically to maintain the plate in place um, and then the rest is pretty much just standard kind of gasket related stuff. Um, and yeah, and then there is, you know, this is the screen. You can, we can actually tear this out. It's just a little warning sign that this basically says like, uh, you know, basically you can pair it with Bluetooth and you know, you should plug it in first before you start, but yeah. Is that bold and brash on your shirt? No, it's just Mickey Mouse. This is the PCB, PCB shape Mickey Mouse. It has been? Oh, I see. I see, I see. All right, so let's put the foam aside for a second. And then let's see what's next here. Disassemble the PCB, sure, I'll do that. Stabilizers, tighten the screws again, install the switches, and then basically put everything back on, right? Yeah, that's basically what it is. Okay, cool. Or maybe I'll just put the screws over here, put this over here like that. Then just do that. All right, so let's get to the PCB then. Um, is this T6? No, this is T8. So where's my T6 screwdriver? Okay, T6. All right, so T6 screwdriver to get some of these screws off from, from the PCB that basically uh, keep the plate and the PCB together. I recently got a job, so that's been taking up my afternoons. Oh, nice. Congrats on the job. That's good. Having a job is good. Well, I hope it is good for you. The internals are cool. I think the internals look a lot better in this production unit than I remember in the prototype. Um, this this looks very cleaned up, very nicely done, kind of like nicely organized, all the stickers in place, uh, pretty much nothing nothing missing, you know. So pretty pretty nice. The presentation of this so far, super good, super super good. Um, so pretty pleased about that. All right, so remove all those screws. 
and then that should basically... Oh, I'm missing one. Also, oh, Talk Thumbs, again, thank you so much for gifting another sub to Mail K. Wow, how kind of you. Seriously, wow. Alright, so there's even more foam. There is this plate foam over here. Keeps things uh, between the PCB and the plate. But here it is. Here's our um, here's our PCB alone on its own. Very nice. Hot swap socket. And then there basically is this piece of foam here that lines the plate under the plate. There's standoffs already pre-installed to the plate, which is pretty nice. You don't have to install them yourself. It's all in place. It's it's great. That actually is very nice. We'll actually keep all the foam, I believe. So the client is actually going for a pretty much silent build, and they they apparently say that uh, they they've told me that they enjoy using stock um, silent switches from ZLPC. Um, so that's what we were building with today. Um, good for them to enjoy stock switches. I personally can't do stock switches anymore after you know kind of like having experienced lubed switches in general. Um, but. Honestly, if you enjoy whatever you have and you don't have to do extra work, that's that's actually amazing. Personally, I, I, I'm kind of jealous. I'm kind of jealous of anybody who already has exactly what they enjoy and like, you know, they don't have to do any extra work. Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to put the plate aside for a sec. But I mean, uh, if you wanted to look at the plate though, here it is. It has gaskets on both sides. This one's slightly, slightly off. So maybe I'll line it up a little better. All right, that's, that looks better. Yeah, these guys, because they're not placed particularly straight. <laughs> uh, but they're also not getting in the way, so it's actually not too bad. And it looks like they're kind of fresh, freshly put onto the plate, so they actually, they actually don't seem to be ripping or anything like that, so that's kind of nice. Can just... Okay, the rest looks pretty good actually, so I can just leave it as, as it is. Alright, cool. So let's just leave this alone for a second. And then now let's just look let's just inspect some of the other parts. So here we have I assume this is what basically is charging the battery. So basically when this uh, top piece inserts down below, you have you see these pads over here? These pads are basically gonna be the charging mechanism for our, for the charging and the grounding mechanism for this part of the case. So basically this will just go like that and it will press those little pads and that will basically work to work in tandem with a battery over here. There's a, probably a battery underneath here. And there certainly is a very thick battery over here. Um, I actually don't want to remove this because it seems to be already put with adhesive, but there is a very large, actually there's two separate batteries. They, they, there looks to be two separate lithium ion batteries or something of this sort. Um, but very nice compartments and very nicely organized with cables here, uh, properly, properly placed and everything. So I think leaving it as is, is perfectly fine. That cross got Kevin, Kevin hard coping. Where's Kevin? Wait, I don't see. Did I miss Kevin? What's up, Diego? Saw that you enjoyed my cake render. Oh, yes, someone else I did. Uh, that was the one for uh, Mr. Hate, right? Yeah, pretty nice. The green look look great. Looks sweet. But yeah, this is pretty much how the case goes. Um, I could test the PCB. I'm gonna kind of trust that it works, but actually, oh, I can test it. I can test this because it's just the top piece that we need today. We don't need the bottom piece right now. I think the bottom piece is only relevant if you're doing um, charging. So we can just put the top piece aside for a second, and then I can just always just place this carefully here. And then just connect it. Ribbon cable is pretty easy to, to put in actually, so that's kind of nice, the utility of this. Alright, perfect. I think they're plugged in. 
And I think it's just fine to just put it like that. Um, I'm gonna just grab a cable here. I'm talking just in general. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, I see a little light there. And I hear the little beeping. And I certainly see the RGB here down below. Look at that. Look at all that lighting. Actually, can I flip this over carefully? Yes, I can. Look at that. Wow, all the lighting. Very glowy indeed. Okay, so I can just carefully maybe place it down and test the key, uh, the test the keys. And maybe I'll just do that. Might as well just be played on the safe side. Let's uh, open a via here. So it's this one, the the um, cyberboard is not a via compatible PCB specifically. It's a, they have their own uh, firmware for it. So um, you just have to keep that in mind. Whoops, I must have shorted something. Uh, I'm gonna consider that to work. As long as it actuates, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's, it's probably because this thing is touching the bottom. Actually, I'm gonna flip it over, back over. <laughs> Let's flip it back over. Ay, 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 ay. All right, there. Oh, something is. Is it? Is it just? Is it because? Is this like incorrectly plugged in? Is that why? Huh. Weird. Why is it actually two two things at the same time? Something is shorting, I guess. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume it'll be fine by the time I actually use this, but it's actuating two keys at the same time for some reason, very consistently throughout. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think that something, something is maybe the ribbon cable is not placed properly, but it's certainly triggering things here. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. Just test all of them. As long as they actuate, it's fine. And then once we put switches in, I can troubleshoot more carefully because now we'll actually have things kind of like more isolated. And so, if anything, it could be a programming or like a small short that we see somewhere um, later on. But I think for now, it'll be best if I just take a quick look at the PCB functionality here. A hundred percent more key presses per key press. Yes, I know, right? The future is here. The future is now, guys. This is this is this is Tesla technology right here. When you can just type at normal speed and you'll type double the speed, right? But you know, it's very consistently pressing the two keys, except for these because these probably don't have anything connected to them. But uh, I have to say, rather interesting that it's doing that. <laughs> Um, I actually don't know exactly why, but I think something is just shorted, like shorted, and it's just shorting t the two adjacent columns from each other. Not sure exactly why. Uh, there is our caps lock indicator. Uh, shoot, there. All right, control, win, alt. Alright, let's get all the letters done. Oh, bottom row is okay though. Maybe that one doesn't have an adjacent column to short with. Or row, perhaps. I don't know, column. Definitely column. Alright. Uh, what is it supposed to be? Oh yeah, right shift. Up. Right. Down. Left. Um, control. Uh, that's probably function and then that okay cool so as far as the PCB itself is concerned it works fine <laughs> unplug and replug it in yeah 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 I, I think I think it's just a matter of this not being fully assembled right now but it's okay it's not a big deal Oh, 
we'll just go ahead and do the rest of this. I also need to download this cyberboard software. I don't think I have it still. Okay. The LEDs work, the PCB at least works in terms of basic function. And I assume something was shorting early, which is fine. All right, let's just check stabs now. We have a 6.25U here. And then we should have, let's see, it's gonna be left shift, enter, backspace, and that's it. Great, um, so we need three 2U stabs. And then these guys. Two, four, six, and eight. And then two. All right, great. We have all that we need here. Put these back. <laughs> okay. So we're good there. So let's loop these tabs now and get this done. It should be a pretty quick build though because it's hot swap and I um, also like, you know, somewhat fewer stabs in general. By the way, GMK Hangul R2 ends tomorrow. Yes, indeed. Uh, project keyboards. Uh, GMK white on black and black and white hangul ends tomorrow indeed. Actually, so I actually do need to place my my own order. Um, I, I haven't done that just yet. Don't know if I should join today or tomorrow. It probably doesn't matter when you, whenever you do it. To be honest, at this point, if if you don't want to forget for sure, might as well just do it now. You know. I'm skipping it. Wow. Okay. Bold choice. But that said, I know that Peaches is into color, colorful sets instead of the boring ones as much, so I get it. It's gonna come after two or three years, right? Um, I think the current timeline is around one year and like one year and a quarter-ish. Like one and a half years is really probably what the more realistic expectation is. One and a half years. I think that's pretty much what the current sets that are shipping are around that timeline with like very like very few exceptions. At least in the case of, you know, white and black or black and white, there's no real color matching or anything like that going on, so it's mostly just a matter of waiting for production timeline to catch up. And if the production does get better over the years, or like, you know, over the next year, like hopefully it'll be slightly quicker, but I mean, I wouldn't hold my breath for that because we do just simply have a lot of sets to cover. Uh, so I don't think that would happen anytime shortly. Um, yeah, so I would say one and a half years is probably a, a reasonable expectation to have. And then uh, if, if there are like any kind of delays, I think that's, that's also somewhat to be expected because nothing is perfect. I don't think production is catching up. I think production is at the point where like we are, the like, sets are shipping at a, at a somewhat steady rate now. 
uh, it's definitely not gonna catch up in the sense that like we will be caught up to current date. We will be caught up up to yeah, I think as about a year out, at at the at the least. It's gonna be a year out. I'm a beige convert now. Look at that. E everyone learns eventually that beige is truly a supreme colorway because it just works it just works with so many things so many different case colors it, it just looks nice too it's just classy kind of retro yeah but it just looks good i have hangul add-on for white and black oh i see yeah i mean personally i don't care about the weight right like like yeah people are like oh well my money could be well spent on whatever else now but it, at the end of the day it, it really doesn't matter it's not like my it's not like i'm investing on anything big enough to to, to for it to even matter <laughs> like i don't even have an investment portfolio <laughs> just consider just consider your gmk sets investment portfolio right there easy GMK IRA. The time does go by quickly though. Yeah, it does. It really does. Then you just get in you're happy you didn't pay aftermarket price for it. Very true. Very true. White on black over beige. I like both, but I mean, both are very Chad kinds of, uh, you know, color schemes. Regardless of which you choose, you're probably not doing anything wrong. You're not in the wrong for choosing either. Hola Rayo, que diga relámpago. Hola de Gentrifier, ¿cómo estás? It could turn out to be a thousand dollar set like Darling. <laughs> not not quite weave enough. Maybe if the legends were pink, am I right? <laughs> Maybe if the legends were pink on black. Darling is one K. Uh, I think it's more like the it's like the bundled kits or whatever. But yeah, I think I think I think I've seen a few listings that have been like. Oh, want to sell base novelties and space bars or whatever for like 850 and then it's like sold. It's like, huh? Damn? Damn, son? The shit? Yeah, I know, right? I, I don't get it, but you know. People do be desperate like that, so. And people do be adoring their waifus, I guess. I mean, apparently, apparently buying a keycap set that's themed after some... TV show that's based on that has a female protagonist in it that is remotely popular is 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 basically is the equivalent of getting the waifu so you know you must get it for 850 US easy can someone ban Manoli 60% with arrows OP and look, Manoli is not even suggesting any arrows. He's suggesting physical arrow support. Like like the two U shift arrow support. <laughs> Actually timed out by Peaches. I think Peaches is probably more offended than I am. Because it's it's a cursed layout, man. It's okay. I forgive one drunk man because HHKB arrows are the best arrows for 60%. Let's be honest. Followed by FN plus WASD or Vim arrows or IJKL are okay. They are okay. However, 2U shift 60% layout is so cursed. So, so cursed. 
It's the one. It's 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 it's, it's that layout that like, uh, like puts your like ex uh no um your question mark like in a weird place. Oh god, I hate it so much. I'm only who I am. Hello. Also, Gam says, speaking of pink, GMK Blossom Kidding is looking better now. Oh, nice. That's good. Don't know about how the extra bottom row caps for Christian bottom row. Oh. I genuinely think Darling might be one of my most disliked sets. I don't dislike it. I actually like the colors. Uh, I don't really care about... Um, I don't really care about the connection specifically. I think the novelties are cool and all. But also... Yeah, I also do think O2 from Darling and Your Friends is extremely overrated. Not because the ending was a complete shit show, to be honest. Let's be honest, guys. Darling and Your Friends ending was like absolute dog. Like they pulled it out of their ass. I don't even know where from. Oh god, like. It was fine at the beginning and then it turned into in, into a shit show. Let's be honest. It's okay at the best. Like sure, I think I think people love to isolate their favorite waifus in a vacuum. Haha, <laughs> in a vacuum like space. Um anyway, but um but but you know, I think I, I think as far as a plot line is concerned, Darling and the Franks had really bad plot line like, and like wrapping up especially. Um, but that said, it was it was fine. I mean, it was a fine watch. It was a fine watch. It was nothing nothing crazy though. I haven't seen Darling in the Friends. I want to see what it's about. Oh, you should watch it. It's not a bad watch, okay? But if you're gonna watch Darling in the Friends, you would you might as well just watch Gurren Lagann for for a, for a slightly better mecha anime experience. Slightly, actually, much better <laughs> to be honest. Uh, did anyone see the Jim Kimmy Glenn update? So many call ups and sick death mats. I have not seen the new update, no. But I assume there will be a lot of cool stuff for it. I mean, no doubt. Mr. Vihasu has put in quite a bit of work. HHKB and Sangin is my blood and bone. You heard it. HHKB is the bone of my sword. Great suggestion, Gurren Lagann and, the, and then Darling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think like you can watch them both, okay? Uh, but do but do do keep in mind that they are older and 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 also I mean Gurren Lagann did have a nicer wrap up, but yeah, Darling didn't did not certainly did not. And at this point, I do think there are much better female protagonists that I could name. Actually, well, as of recent, I I, I watch Bakemonogatari, and I've been watching some of the you know series, and it's been fun. It's been entertaining. Very entertaining. I missed out on the Nendoroid because the pre-order sold out. I thought Good Smile had no cap. Huh. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, is it vendor imposed cap or is it just good smile actually imposing a cap? B stars, B stars, pretty good. Um, uh, is it really that much better though? I don't know, it was good though. It was, it was I think, I think B stars had like uh, interesting development, that's for sure. I wouldn't rank it super highly, B stars, personally. Like it was good, but it's not like the oh my god, it blows my socks. It was very fun though, nonetheless. I mean, it did have several seasons, and they're pretty much worth watching. So, when when a show has multiple seasons, and you do end up watching them all because they're actually fun to watch then it's 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 pretty good normally a lot of stuff is like short-lived and only has like one season or they try to wrap things up in one season in a way that's not quite complete happens a lot
just on its own, pretty good show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think on its own is definitely a good show. Definitely a good show. Uh, Gutsman has a cap. It's big, but it's ex but it exists. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised though. They probably don't want to, you know, put put a put a put whatever the figurine they're making in in, in li on limbo by having no cap at all. Like that would be production limbo essentially. So that would suck. Yeah, I don't think I can't not see any kind of toy being a no cap and uncapped, like a actually uncapped. It would be. Virtually, it might seem like no cap, but um, it's just some very high number. The human limit, so to speak. Anyway, any fun, fun news from you guys? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't kept up with anything keyword related as much recently. And I mean, if you have any shows or movie recs, happy to check them out at some point. Uh, I'm kind of slow on them to be honest, but you know, I'll get there. I haven't watched too much of recent stuff. Uh, at least, I mean, well, I'm I'm following a few. Like I today, I watched the twentieth episode of All Summer Ranking, Ranking of Kings. Very fun show. That's disguised as an old retro, uh, not retro, but like definitely kind of like an older style, more nostalgic style of, of animation and, and drawing. Um, but that really evokes quite a lot of feelings and like quite a lot of emotions and really has very impactful story. It's pretty subtle, but it's very, very good. And some parts it's just not subtle at all. Like it's very violent, kind of, kind of, kind of very visceral, but pretty fun show. Ranking of Kings. Uh, Matrix 3.0 pricing released. Oh, I am not very interested in uh, Matrix 3.0, so I think I'm good on that at least. Surely someone might send one to build or something, but I personally am not not interested in Matrix 3.0 TKL, like kind of at all actually. It's probably one of the TKLs from Matrix that really, I mean specifically from the 8x line, that really doesn't interest me. Like 1.2 was interesting for me, like the OG, and the 2.0 was interesting to me. At what you know when when it was first like kind of like shown, but for some reason the 3.0 does not tickle any of my senses. Like for me, I'm just like, oh okay, cool. Good luck on your group, bye. Hololive VTuber is another beast. I don't follow any VTuber stuff at all, so I can't relate. I don't even know their names. So, uh, yeah. I, I might recognize a few, but um, don't, don't know the whole gist around VTubers in general. There's like so much going on. Oh! <laughs> Patty! Patty, how are you? Shin Shing Wong, thank you so much for the raid. How's your stream? What do you do today, actually? You build a keyboard today? Show us your pores? Wow. That's kind of rude. I don't know, man. Give us your resin? Oh my god. So demanding. These raiders, man. Kids these days. It's all demands. All demands. No asking nicely. SMH my head. I did earlier, but then into wow. Oh, I see. I hope it went well. If you read it, and that fun stuff. Happy one year. Oh, happy one year. Uh, and Brandon, how are you doing? Did you win any of the lures today? Nay. Imagine winning. <laughs> Diego, you mind giving us the funny 2011 skull looking resin? It's old and clearly inferior to any modern skull. Yeah, so super inferior just because it's old. Ew, old. Old equals bad. 
Boomer bad. Boomer resin bad. Toss it in the trash. Burn it. Straight to the incinerator. Patty built a key that sounded like a thunderstorm during typing test? Wait, what was this? What was, what was this board? I, I mean, did you finish doing the F1? I had to go to bed, so I didn't catch it. And then I assume you built something else today too, so... I wonder how many clacks have been lost to house fires or to time. I don't think house fires probably as big these days, but to time probably relevant, yes. Yeah, I don't know about the house fires one though. <laughs> oh wow, t twice. Rated twice already. Oh my goodness, Halloween. It's sounding like a thunderstorm, the new flag all the cool kids have been talking about um i guess so is that a, the new t word interesting patty finished f1 indeed just a small scuff at the end oh okay that's not bad small scuff it's okay we all have small scuffs i am i am i am very scuffed but uh, we all have our small scuffs in life yo halloween how's it going dude thank you for thank you so much for the raid What's up, Brody? What's up, dude? How are you doing? What's cooking? Good looking. How have you been these days? What, what have you been up to these days? I actually don't feel like it's been a while now since we caught up. I mean, I see you every so often like on Twitch, but yeah. Today she built a prototype of the Hoji Soda and then did some wow rates like a pro. Yeah, that's honestly I don't know how you do it um, Patty that's so much work I one thing is already tiring enough I don't know how you do both and on stream too that's uh, I don't know it's it's quite impressive to be quite frank with you what the hell is flack I have no idea poppy penguin hi I'm good man stream went great good what do you what do you build today or what do you do today just been focusing on work. Look at that. Getting that dough. Trying to put food on the table. Halloween boards. Getting ready for the new October. When he will buy every OTD in one single transaction. Put food on the table. Good. Some good fucking food finally. Is that right? Flack is the nice T word with the cl with the sweet clack. Okay, T word users, don't forget, this is a T word forbidden kind of haven where you must use a T word only in conjunction to the real T word classification, which is T word only qualifies. The T word only qualifies the only one typing experience, the oneness. The unique, the best, Topre, Tokyo Press. So yes, you need to you you need to only you you, you can only use the T word in association with the Tokyo Press. So yes. So this is the only warning you get. Let's, whoa. Wow, those are my first bids in like so long. I swear no one gives me <laughs> bids. So th thank you so much for the 300 bids, Popcorn. Oh my god, how are you? I heard um you were maybe, were you on vacation? Or did someone say you were going to be on vacation soon? But I hope you're doing well. Thank you, thank you. LFG, looking for group. Feeling of oneness with cup rubber. That's right. Also, Forbidden, thank you so much for gifting a tier 1 sub to Halloween. How kind of you. Thawk Thumbs, thank you so much for gifting a tier 1 sub to 
Forbidden, 404. How, how kind. Y'all are too kind. Forbidden, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Popcorn too. Popcorn shouldn't be giving any bits right now, but YOLO! You know, the great, the great philosopher, the great Canadian philosopher, homie Drake from Toronto said, YOLO. Is this the Mikibo popcorn? Yeah, that's right. I'm on a plane giving you bits? Damn. Wow, what a baller. Wow, on a plane sharing bits. That's crazy. Where are you headed, Popcorn? Oh my god. I hope you have a great vacation though. That's that's amazing. I, I'm very happy for you. Having having the luxury for a vacation is, is so good. I, I'm, I'm, I'm super happy for you. Oh, you are subbed. Yes. Uh, it might just not be refreshed for the little uh, thingy. It's okay. Heading to Tokyo? Yo, so jealous. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so nice. Oh my goodness, I am jealous. <laughs> I've never been to Japan and I just want to go. So, oh, that's so nice. Buy me vinyls? <laughs> Look at this guy asking for vinyls when you could be asking for so much more, my friend. Hey, can you send me a box of Shiroi Koibito, please? Thank you. Actually, I can just buy them here, but... um. Please, please send me a big ass taiko drum too while you're at it. I wanna go. I wanna go to. I wanna go to Japan. I wanna go to Japan. Oh my goodness, popcorn! Please save save this money for for buying yourself nice food and gifts and whatnot in Tokyo. Let me get you some real first. Ah. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it right here. Popcorn will give us the true thug. Okay? Will bring us Papa and Mama thug. From Japan. Direct from the source. Mikibo X PFU slash Fujitsu. Okay? The real collab is happening. It's, it's The executive meeting is gonna happen. Popcorn about to return with HHKB HG. Now officially honorary executive at PFU Fujitsu. It'll be like, welcome to Japan, Popcorn San. Here is HKVHG. Thank you so much for your collaboration. Oof. Just like that. It's HKVHG for HKB honorary guest Mikibo Popcorn of Mikibo Easy Damn I wanted a black A4U Neo CS real force. Oh uh, Neo CS kinda difficult to find, isn't it? These days. Haven't seen one in like a while. A long while actually. I think I saw one maybe a few years ago, but that was like by chance too. It's like from a collector, I think. Popcorn sand, I'm dying. Hazakashi! <laughs> anyway. Where's my exclamation Mikibo? Okay, 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 okay. Exclamation Mikibo is happening. Exclamation Mikibo is happening. Right now. Live. Live right now. Add new command. Exclamation Mikibo. Do you know the one and only Popcorn 62 from Mikibo? Check out Mikibo.com for the best. I don't know. What what are we gonna, are we gonna talk about? Are we gonna talk about stabilizers, or are we gonna talk about what 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 do we promote from Akibo tonight? Hmm? 
my man really making shout out command without a ref code? Hey, hey, look. Mikibo, first of all, Popcorn and I go back, okay? Popcorn and I have known each other since like, we, we have been acquainted with each other for <laughs> for quite some time actually. I remember the first time I actually interacted with, with Popcorn was when was either either about a custom because you know she's made into like custom mechanical keyboards like Korean customs and also um oh for for the for the UK flag jelly key I wanted that shit so bad back then and I still did and then eventually got one from <laughs> from popcorn actually <laughs> that was the last flag I had to get and and back back then it was a rarity um I think like uh when 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 Kim Tam had like uh, had like two of them out of the three that were made, it was ridiculous, and I was like, man, I need to get one. And eventually they moved, and I was like, oh my god, where? And popcorn had it. So that's 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 how far we go back, back to like 2018, 2017, so long ago now. We're like boomers at this point, keyboard boomers. Oh my gosh. Also, popcorn. Thank you so much for the two thousand bits. Oh my goodness! Forever. All right. Exclamation! The keyboard is now active. I think. We mechie buds? Yeah, that's true. We do go back. <laughs> We're not super close. I mean, like, we haven't really met each other in person yet because I haven't had the chance to go to the Orange County. But um, at some point, I will. I definitely, wa I definitely want to go to LA and Orange County and just visiting California in general. Um, I just haven't had the chance in the past, like, few years. Are these Aqua Silence? Yes, they are. Sometimes when the switches are stock, it's actually kind of hard to tell whether it's the switch or it's the stabilizer because <laughs> of the spring. Yeah, I think that's actually a little bit of step. Use clippings so you won't have static and short the PCBs. I'm not even kidding. I'm. I swear. I mean, clippings are goaded. I I would be using clippings all the time. But I did I did have a period of time when I just stocked up on a bunch of uh, screw ins that I had to use them. I do still have like a bag of like a hundred and some clip ins. Quite a lot of clip ins. I did buy like two hundred and fifty at some point, so I mean, there's not too much to hear from the build because it is a silent switch build. But um, we chillin' today. We have Guest of Honor Popcorn on on her, I don't know how many drinks she has had. <laughs> and balling on the fly, which has been, it's, it's been great company so far, so thank you for joining us. I'm honestly I'm a noob, so I'm using clip-ins. Oh come on, it's it's actually harder to use screw-ins these days because you know how like okay, I fucking hate that when it happens. You know when you like grab the screw here and you like put it on the put it on the screwdriver and the shit just like you're about to oh my god see you're about to put the goddamn screw on the on the on the hole right on the thread and it just like goes sideways. <sighs> I hate it so much. 
seriously. Clip-ins? No. Clip-ins just whoop, pop, done. Easy clap. <laughs> Any stronger magnets? I mean, I guess so. I guess so. The staffs should change not my magnets. <laughs> oh god. Getting too old for screw-ins. Yeah, clip-ins clip -ins best. I'm so glad that um, with the TX stabs that came out that they actually, that you know, Kin actually opted to go with clip-in, like the clip-in model and basically doing that better. I think it's such a smart way to go about it because now we also have like all these o-ring right o-ring mounts or whatever right um so so basically it it you know those require clip-ins basically right so it's it's so nice to basically just just have to use like have to stick to that particular format and with the little clips that have been revised now um like the v2 clips for the tx um, clip-in stabs they pretty much have zero issues with like popping off from the PCB, which is really nice. I mean, they, yeah, no, they definitely like are just snug enough, and it's 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 fantastic. <sighs> from clippings to screw-ins, back to clippings. <laughs> yeah. I think I bent the pin on this, I'm just gonna put it aside. Word in the streets, you can buy the best MX Switches Cherry Browns on the Makipo website. Yeah, um, you can, I think, they also sell um, Gadron Switches. So if you're looking for Gad Switches, they're also there too. Pretty sure Gat Yellows? I'm not sure if the stock is out, but... I, I remember buying... Uh, I remember telling people to get got yellows from there before specifically like if you live in California it's even better because like you know shipping super fast from there retooled clears imagine wait is this thing still on this is like randomly turned on oh wow it is it is on how do I turn it off? Does it turn off on its own? I guess it's the battery just doing its thing. Cherry reps baiting me hard in YouTube comments. Oh, do you ask? Did they just give you the smiley face emote or something? Or did they just bait you with random marketing words? That sounds painful. They gave me a god. <laughs> they gave you a shrug? <laughs> That's pretty shitty. <laughs> Oh my god. Just straight up shrug. Okay, great. It's like, no, don't know anything about it. Sorry, bud. Good luck. We need retail clears before we need Nixies. Kinda true. Kinda true. I mean, specifically, I would love to see a revision, slight revision to the stem. Aside from retooling the, the, the like, mold stuff, I would also like to see a slight revision to the stem, make it slightly thinner, you know? I'll make it actually the same spec as the other switches, instead of thick, as it is. That would be nice, but yeah, don't expect, I'm, I'm not expecting it, but yeah. Shave some, PV, uh, shave some plastic off some PVT keycaps, rip. Yeah, no, it's it's still a it's still an issue for sure. Like, cause it's also batch dependent. Like, not every not every switch is gonna do that to your switches, but like, there's a there's a good chance it will. So, it's definitely tight. Like in general, 
Stop clogging up Cherry's timeline. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good meme. That said, there are a lot of things that clog up certain queues, right? So. My MX3 feel relatively smooth and nice one slightly lube. That's good. I mean, yeah, frankly, at least the switches aren't like bad, 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 like all the time. On one hand, I'm afraid a clear stem might fuck up an artisan stem, but on the other hand, some makers have loose ass stems, so clears are perfect. Yeah, true. Oh yeah, so I actually got a, um, actually, do I have it right here? Oh yeah, I do have it right here. So I got this artisan in the mail earlier today. I got a um, wormwood blank from, like, the, the Nightcaps wormwood blanks. I got this from Mech Market, right? Um, and, like, this is not from Meatbags, it's just, like, from Mech Market. And... The stem is a synth. This is it's the synth butt. But if you look carefully at the at the sculpt itself, it's been it's been shaved. Like I mean, it's been sanded down because you actually you can see that the dimension of the cap is actually somewhat slimmer. Um, but it's basically sanded so it adjusts so it, it's a cherry profile height, but it was molded from something else, and then clay was probably sculpted on top. Like you can see the edges of the clay um, on the sculpt. Um, and yeah, the stem is pretty loose, uh, which was something that I was not very happy about. Like, I think I can put it on here and... Okay, like on these it's okay, but like, I tried it in, in like some other some other switches and it was really, really loose. It would just like straight come off if you flip it upside down. So like, yeah, you have to like either use tape or something like that. Are classical stems loose? Oh, it depends on the, it depends on the cap. Some caps are old enough that they kind of have been a little bit on the looser side, yeah. Uh, but in general, clacks are tend to be pretty good fitment. I mean, Clack pretty much nailed down every aspect of keycap making back then because he basically like modeled it after OEM. Not he did not model it after Cherry. He modeled it after OEM. Everything's OEM. OEM Topre, OEM MX, OEM Buckling Spring, OEM Alps. So, yeah, it was all OEM. And it was pretty much nailed down to the T because he was an expert. So I personally would not expect many problems. I mean, but for example, like Topper stems are, they will be loose for the most part because of usage. They've been worn out. And some MX stuff is as well, yeah. Some MX stuff is a bit loose because either they're worn out or, um, or like maybe the molds have shown their years and maybe it's like a later batch or something. Yeah. All right, sweet. We're pretty, pretty much done now. <laughs> Great. All right, let's put this all this foam back on. I don't know how it's supposed to go. Uh, man, I'm so confused. Is this the enter key area? Um, shit, um, what the hell? Okay, that's a space bar. Okay, there, okay, there, there you go. Cut out around cables. Thank you, thank you, Alex OP. All right, great. So that's done, and this goes like that. So let's put this on here. Full 
million. Okay. And this just goes like that. Covers this part exactly. Nice and easy. And then... Is that the antimatter Shishi Orochi? Yeah, 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 it is. We do a little foaming, yeah. Yeah, it is the old antimatter Shishi and Orochi set, yeah. I got that, like, back in the day. It was, like, it was such a big acquisition back then because it was a popular colorway among the first few that they had. Oh wait, I must have forgotten some of the screws for the PCB, so let me actually get those out, uh, get those in. I accidentally forgot those. But I mean, I mean the PCB is already held together by several screws, but yeah, we should, might as well just put these on too. In case the client needs to use a hot swap again. and easy. I really like the finish on this by the way. The This uh, anodizing or coating is really well done. Uh, it's basically very similar to what the Soya colorway is like on the Rama U80s. But I actually think I might like this texture a little bit better than that one. I'm not sure. The, the Soya was really nice when I built one um, off stream once. But um... This is also very nice, very, very nicely done. Good night, have a nice. <laughs> oh, one drunk man. Good night, dude. Cyberboard looks nicer IRL. Yeah, I think it looks really, really nice in real life. At least right now that I'm looking at it here in front of me, it looks it looks superb. It looks superb. Like the finish on it is really smooth, really good. The texture is like just enough. It's like not too rough and not too smooth. It's just the right amount of texture, I think. Ooh, colorful. Okay, let's um plug it in first, test it. I don't have it set up for Bluetooth yet. Yo, Chicago on. Thank you so much for the six months, buddy. How are you doing? It's been a while. Hope you've been well. Now it works fine. So it was definitely something about the way it was plugged in earlier. It's all good. Okay, I think this is the function key. So let's take a look at the manual now that we've built it. Let's see if I can configure the, the other mode. FN, uh, factory reset, system volume, play pause, LED PCB control, let's see, if this is the LED control, on and off can be done, press and hold for 3 seconds, 
Oh, nice. Okay. Then I can turn it back on. Wow. Okay, cool. Change the LED effect. FN plus F. Oh god, shut up, Google. Um, FN plus 12. There's a time. There's some other mode. Tetris-like mode. This is fun. Little uh, sp Space Invaders like animation. A battery. And then the very glowy one. Cool. Okay. Bluetooth. Oh, switch device to blue in Bluetooth mode. Okay. How do I do Bluetooth now? Let's see. Bluetooth. So switch to device in Bluetooth mode. Okay, so I think I, I guess I just need to pair it. So let's uh, unplug it and then go to my Bluetooth settings. And then add device, Bluetooth, and then FN1. Press and hold for five seconds until the LED starts blinking. Oh, nice. Cyberboard shows up right here and it's ready to go. Shit, that was fast. Okay, look at that. And now I can just test it right away. Whoa, that's sick. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, Bluetooth mode already. Sick. Very pog. Very pog. All right, friends, what keycaps do we want to use on this right now? Hmm? What keycaps do we want to use? GMK Darling, I don't have GMK Darling. <laughs> I did not buy GMK Darling. And I also, um, Not only did I not buy Jim K. Darling, I just didn't necessarily want Jim K. Darling because of the modifier choice and other things. Henderbite? I do have Henderbite right right next to me. And beige would look actually kind of nice on this. Let's see, how did I... I need to look at this manually. How do I turn off the LEDs on here? Okay, PCB lighting display. Oh, okay, I see. FN plus F9. All right, cool, nice. Change the PCB lighting effect. Oh, ooh, okay. Well, I, I'll just turn it off for now. And then maybe leave it at that one. Yuru, Handerbite, Moto Light. Oh, I do have a set of Moto Light that I have for stream purposes. Specifically, it's actually, I saved it aside for a client, but um, we're still pending on something, so I can use it, but yeah. Modal Light, Yuru, all those are valid options. Should I just do a quick poll here then? Or beige? Okay, I'll just do that. Uh, I'll do poll. I'll do what set? What set? Yuru, beige. Uh, what do y'all say? I don't have a GMK Masterpiece, please. That one hasn't even shipped. Stop. Um, uh, Moto Light is what someone else said. Moto Light. Z Xerox? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll put Xerox on it. Uh, CRP. GMK Honor? Oh, I actually don't have GMK Honor either. That's another set that I didn't buy. Alright, y'all can vote. Between those, I guess. Boneyard, maybe? Oh, that would work too. Oh, sorry, I didn't include it. Um. Oh, Nine Walker, welcome back. <laughs> ha ha. Wait, how do I type this? Man, 
trying trying to type without All right. Just shooting sets, no problem. Hmm, very fun. Oh, the cyber board, pretty cool board, not gonna lie. Pretty cool board. It's very chonky. It's actually not as bad as you might think, but um, in, in person, it definitely is a chonky board, but still not nearly as bad it could be a lot worse but the Bluetooth mode is pretty nice honestly the battery I think the battery does last a good amount of time which is pretty cool yeah how heavy is the board oh good question I can check Load up a PP hop Jeff like Nathan. Oh, I, where do I find it though? Oh, looks like Euro won by one vote. All right, the board weighs without keycaps. It weighs. 6 pounds and 11 ounces which in kilograms that's gonna be 3 kilograms and 22 grams so 3 kilograms basically 3 kilogram board without keycaps decently hefty actually Okay, I don't have the Cyberware software installed yet, but I can look it up actually. Do I have the Cyberboard Angry Meow? Nope, I don't. Let's see. Cyberboard software. Um, Angry Meow. Man, where do you even get this stuff? AngryMeow.com Uh... Community? Nope Uh... Products? Cyberboard R3 Website's kind of hard to navigate. User manual, DIY. Uh, oh, DIY.angrymail.com. Maybe it's here. <sighs> okay. A library. Oh, cool. Um, how do I? Mm, Metroid, Mercedes, Waves, Pac-Man. Okay, I'll, I'll show you guys what I'm seeing on the screen here. So here they have their like effects. Um, you can like download the effects from their library here. Um, there's like a bunch of different ones. There's like this pulse one, there's like this music one. Oh, there's wide people happy, but it doesn't really look too good, I think. <laughs> so you can't just load a GIF? Yeah, I think you're supposed, you have to like animate it and figure out that thing yourself, yeah. There's like the Tetris one. Okay, let me see if there's any other emote ones. Can you search here? No, there's no searching. Um, hmm. 
Oh, 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 here it is. Here it is. Okay, is this the download button? Download this file, select profile. Uh, cyberboard R2, R3. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, now back. And then let's go back one. Okay, I think I need to just download the loader for the R2. And then install that, I think. All right. All right, let's install that one and figure it out from there. I'm just waiting for the thing to finish. Yeah, that's kind of pog. Edit the layout too. Oh, okay. I'll edit the layout sometime later. I believe the um the client wanted like a Mac layout for it later on. So I'll have to do that for them later. Alright, let's extract this here. Angry Meow. Um, which one is it? Oh, it's this one. Okay, hopefully, this program just works. Uh, that's in. Hold on. Okay, guess not. Sorry friends, give me one second. I'm trying to figure out how this works. Okay, it's like it's like installing the client. Okay. Open. Alright, it's opening up the client and then I assume I need to plug it in with my cable, so maybe I just need to plug it in. Oh, firmware update. Nice. Okay, firmware update. Oh. oh, wait. Why is the build command wrong? I didn't... What? The build command has been wrong and nobody told me. That's so weird. It's been... I updated it earlier. Cyberboard. For a client. It's built with... Aquila Silent V2s. Yes. Oh, there it is. Okay, firmware update. Can you upload via Bluetooth? No, no. You have to upload via cable. Both are chonky boards, true. True, true. Okay, I'm like waiting for this to finish. <laughs> Austin R3 got upgrades. go about this now. Angry Meow. Keyboard. Was this hot swap PCB? Yeah, it was hot swap, so we didn't solder today. So that's why it's been a shorter stream and I'm like further into the stream, so to speak. Um, okay, flash keyboard, JSON file. Alright. Loading, loading, loading. Loading boys and girls. All right, cool. So now I think I just need to switch. No, it's not that one. How do I? Okay. Uh, wait. Enable, change the PCB lighting effect. Enable, disable the LED panel display. Oh, change the LED effect. Okay, change the LED effect. <laughs> Let's go. 
Let's go. Oh, you know, I also have Jim K. Ursa, which is kind of a nice set for this. Yuru, uh, Yuru. Yuru. GMK Pepe Wen isn't that basically GMK nuclear data? <laughs> and then you can just use like classic blue mods or something. Needs Pepe novelties? Oh, I guess. Really cute, it looks fine from top down, but it would be upside down if you look at the eye level. No, 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 no. It's 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 normal. I'm I'm looking at it, I I see the Pepe like this. You guys are literally seeing as like this way, so so it's up it's the right side up properly. Yeah, it's not upside down. I mean it will be upside down if you're looking from here, like the other side of the board, but that doesn't make sense because if you're looking at the board from when you're typing, uh, that's how you want the animation, right? Oh, it has a caps lock indicator, very nice. the screen everything else is a bonus can you see it clearly oh yeah I can see it clearly from here I can see it very clearly yeah oh get some dim sum how are you doing good to see you that's actually nice yeah I think so too I think it's a pretty nice board to be honest. Like just like overall, it's a pretty solid board. Pretty UI. Now I have some novelties here. Wait, that's a shift key though, right? Pretty steep typing angle? This is not that steep. This is like what? 7? 8 degrees? 7 degrees? 8 degrees? It's not that steep to be honest. If you can see it's not a gimmick after all. Yeah, I think it's pretty... I think it's a pretty... I mean, I think it was thought out properly. For what it's worth. It's actually not bad. Doing good, waiting for Lost RQ. Oh. Also got my NRD Nest and Chronos delivered. Yo, very nice. Wait, get some dim sum. You're like pretty into the community too, huh? Wait, am I con- No, yeah. I'm, I'm not confusing you at all, but I, oh, okay. Is it only 7, 8 degrees? Yeah, I think so. It seems to be about 7, 8 degrees at least in my eye here. It's not that steep. It really isn't. Alright, do we want to use some of these novelties? Maybe we want to use the scarf novelty here. And then there is... Um, I mean, let's get all the alphas first. Oh man, you you actually looks very nice on this. Your actually looks very nice. I dabble and lurk in a lot of discords. 
don't have as much time to be active in Discord and work in life, sadly. No, I mean, that's fine. I see now. That's pretty cool. It's good to see worlds collide, though. It's always fun. Peach is never wrong in colorful keycaps and picking colorful keycaps. <laughs> is this the other ship key? Oh, nice. It matches the scarf. Backspace. Where's my backspace? Huh? I, oh, here. What other novelties does this set have? Numpad. Let's see. Do you have oo faces? I actually do, yeah. I do it right here. Use it for the nav cluster? Oh, you mean this? Yeah, 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 I would use it for that too. I do agree with that. Let's see. Oop, don't want to mix them up. Does this have an enter novelty at all? No, right? I think it just has just those. Oh wait, I'm also missing an arrow key here. Arrow. Do I see my right arrow somewhere? Huh? Is it this? Oh, ah, yeah. I don't think Yuru has a enter novelty, right? It just has these. Um, let's put one more novelty at the top right here. Um, I'll put the, hmm. I'll put the bike. I like the bike. All right. All right. Enter key is the regular one. I think that I like the red. Yeah, I don't think no novelties. Oh, no novelties in accident enter? Tragic Sora and didn't add any hopping emotes. Oh wait, you want me to add any emotes, Drua? Is that what you're asking about? I'm. I just probably use Accenter. The rod egg blue stood out. Uh, let me try that. Yeah, sure. There we go. Heal Arzen for escape, please. Okay. I'll try. <laughs> I'll try. I'm trying. I'm trying my hardest here. I have a very demanding demanding audience to keep keep up with. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's see. A teal. I'll put something red here and something teal here. 
Let me see what matches this teal best though. Okay, this is kind of a little bit on the darker side. Ah, oh, it's not too bad though. Let's see. It's a little closer. This is kind of more blue though. It's kind of blue. Maybe the hood is pretty good, I think. I think the hood is probably the closest we'll get. Although this kind of otter looks pretty cute though. Uh, but it's very blue. No, we'll pass on that one. Don't have enough red here, do I? Oh, 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 this is what this works perfectly. Okay, this woody guy goes up over here. That works nice. That bongo in the bottom right corner of the other container is looking real interesting. This guy? Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, no, this works. This works. This works. Is Neptune too light? Neptune? Oh, actually, I'm kind of torn. I think I might want to go for the more. Should I go for the brighter one? Okay, guys. Choose between one and two. Uh, between those two. All right. One, one. My strange resin addiction. Yes. Stop judging me. <laughs> Neptune has a red too. You're you're totally right. All right, we're going with one. Nice coinky dinky. Nice coincidences here. All right. Oh wait, can I still have the Pepe without this? Yes, I can. Sick. Oh, it connected to Bluetooth mode right away. Oh man, that's that's actually very really nice. All right, we can type now. Wireless. Boom, no cable. So good. Actually, it's super lit. You can see my taskbar over here. <laughs> it's kind of funny. the the Pepe the the Pepe is jumping over the taskbar buttons. <laughs> what does the front LED show? Uh, front LED. I think it's for. I don't know actually. That's a good question. I can look in the manual. That's in Chinese, so I don't understand it. Um, doesn't quite say actually. Yeah, no, doesn't say. I don't know what it is. Oh, is it maybe for the Bluetooth? Maybe, do you think maybe it's like a Bluetooth for it? Like like to transmit Bluetooth? I don't know. Cause it is an aluminum case after all. So maybe it's for that. Like for the receiver, transmitter. Not sure. Is there a shortcut key for it? Yeah, I, I'm, that's my that's my thought now that I think about it. Cause it, it is, uh, 5G antenna. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, that's my thought though. All right, let's check this out. I mean, you're not gonna hear much to be quite frank with you. <laughs> it is a silent build. <laughs> Do you use VL or VIA? I use VIA regularly. Uh, I don't really use VL, uh, Viol, VL, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I don't really use it because I don't have use for encoders. I don't really use knobs, so yeah. And I don't have, yeah, I don't have boards that use VL over VIA, so there's also that. Is that a fork of VIA? Yeah, it's basically like open source fork of VIA, or not even fork, but based on VIA. Uh, but basically, it's like another client that rides over QMK. Alright, yeah, you're just gonna hear sha sha sha, as uh, Peaches just said. And also, actually, you'll probably hear a lot of 
uh, leaf ping and spring crunch because <laughs> these are stock switches. All right. Actually, this sounds pretty good. It it definitely has a little bit of crunch, but for stock, this is actually pretty good. You can definitely hear a little bit of the crunch and the leaf ping, but it's not bad. It's actually not bad at all. I actually think it was gonna be worse. Not terrible. Not bad at all. All right, here are the mods, anyhow. I hear it there. I actually expected worse. I actually expected worse. Sounds like Topre, absolutely not. Topre sounds very different. You wanna hear Topre? Let me show you some Topre. Oh, I guess I took off the artisans from it, but Topre sounds like this. Topre sounds very different. We can have 18 plus content. It's not gonna be plugged in, so I'm just gonna just gonna do random, okay? That's, that's Topri. A little bit of spring ping there. That's from the uh, spring in the middle. I probably should probably lube it a little.
Pretty nice though, right? Yeah, so that's Topri. That is Topri. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It is a pro one, indeed. Okie dokes. That's a pro one, no logo. I covered that board. Yeah, I covered it too, and I paid paid a paid a chunk of monies for it uh, because even when I got it, it was kind of pretty hard to get. So, yeah. Hope it way more tactile than Xylence too. Well, forty five gram. Yeah, forty five gram is actually pretty decently tactile. Um, so, yeah. So yeah, guys, take a look. Here is our cyberboard. Very nice looking, actually. I, I do like it. I do like how this looks. Type in my pleb pro classic, please. The the pro classic is actually so nice. I really like how the um, current edition of Topra is like. All the new HKB stuff is super super nice. Um, like the Pro Classic, the Hybrid, um, yeah, they're all like ace. Yeah, but yeah, this looks really sweet. Yeah, I really dig this. Anyway, here's our cyberboard. I guess I can probably take the sticker off now. Um, but yeah, oh, this has a sticker too, and there's dust stuck under it. Oh well, I won't remove it. No. It's probably well stuck in place, so. All right, so this is what the board looks like from the back. This is the back side. And this is the side profile of the board. It's pretty much like a triangle, uh, like with cuts. <laughs> looks pretty interesting, but it's, it's, it's nice nonetheless. The side, the side profile is actually not bad. It's, it's, it could be worse. It's very chonky for sure. Um, but I think the execution of this board is actually pretty good. I think for a keyboard, it could have ended up much worse as far as like inspiration dr um, drawn from the Cybertruck, but it actually turned out really nice for what it's worth. Like Bluetooth, wireless charging, um, of course you can use it wired, this LED screen, like it all, I think I think for, for, for what it's worth, this was really well done from like Angry Meow. Like they really nailed it um, as far as like adapting that concept into a keyboard. Um, so I think it's like, you know, among their products, this is definitely like a banger. I mean, of course it took them a few rounds to kind of like really get it all pat down. Um, but this is like definitely the best iteration of it. Like the finish of the coating is actually fantastic. Like let's take a close look at the coating here. Okay, maybe the label will show it here, but like it has a very nice fine texture um, and it's it's just nice and smooth, like slightly textured, not too smooth, not too rough. This is just really good. It's like really well done. Um, so I think for, for, yeah, for a consumer product, this is, this is really, really well done. Um, and specifically like for what it's adapted from, it's really well done. Yeah, like the side profile looks pretty nice. It's just clean. It's just a very clean board, I think. Um, despite the size and despite all the supposedly gaudy sort of um, looking features. Uh, so I think, yeah, no, this is definitely a very appropriate keyboard for, for people who like this, the whole concept of it. And honestly, it doesn't take up that much space. I mean, it could be a lot worse. It takes up space this way, but as far as a 75% is concerned, it's not like extremely chonky. You know what I mean? Like the 75% ends right here, right? It's slightly angled, so it like does cover a little bit more horizontal space this way, right? But overall, it's, it's actually not bad. Like the bezel proportions are not terrible. Yeah, great door blocker, yeah, this, uh, <laughs> yeah, door blocker for sure. Just open the door and just, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think it's done pretty nicely nonetheless. And GMK Yuru was a great set on it because this, 
the beige-ish color on the the, the the CP color is like spot on for this finish. Looks 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 really really good. So pretty nice pick there, friends, peaches, others. Yeah. Anyhow. So I think that's it for today. Um, for today's build. Unless you guys have any other questions or any other concerns you might want to address. That's pretty much it for today. Gotta go. Thanks for the stream. No problem, Gordon Derp. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad you guys came to hang out. I thought I was gonna be like, oh, uh, we're just doing a silent switches build, so no one's gonna come around. <laughs> but I'm glad I'm glad you guys came around and had a good time. And thank you so much to uh, Shinching Wang and Halloween for raiding earlier, and for all the gifters. Um, thank you so much for all the gifted subs earlier too. Super kind of you guys, and all the bits popcorn coming by was really fun. Um, really appreciate it. Yeah. All right, let's see if there's anybody to raid right now. It is a little bit of a late night. Um, I see Mr. Lolstax. I see Aeong Yi. Um, if you know Emily Aeong, uh, I don't know them. Like, I don't know her really well. Uh, I just know that they um, are like in the TikTok scene and they just joined Twitch. So we could give them a raid for the first time. I haven't uh, raided them before. Um, there's Mech Merlin, there's Frank Inomushiki, there is Viv Amber, but I think, uh, I think, uh, I think she's just playing games. Starfire Penguin apparently building a Sangal 65. Um, and who am I missing? Yeah. Your Tina? Who's... What? Where do I... Who that? Takoyakis? Takoyakis? Are they live? I don't see them. Hold on. Okay, they just went live, it seems. In the case of Takoyakis. And... Yortina, they're just playing, um... League. Let's raid a keyboard streamer, though. So. Alright. Um, oh, but Takoyakis... Takoyakis is just gonna play games. So let's, let's actually raid someone who's doing a keyboard build, if you guys wanna... I like just supporting fellow keyboard folks. Let's go raid um, Aeyangi since we haven't raided her before and I don't think we've met. Alright friends. Thank you again for stopping by everybody. Let's say Miyago raid. Mm, what, what do you guys want to tell Emily Aeyangi? I'll just say, I'll just say lightning raid. Um, I mean, she's been on Twitch for like a few times, but I'll let's just still say, welcome to Twitch. Meow go hypers. Oh wait, no. Meow go heart, I guess. Let's just do meow go heart. All right, all right, friends. Thanks again. I hope you all have a good night, and I'll probably catch you guys. Mm, not sure when the next time is gonna be yet. I might be busy over the weekend, but if I'm not, I might I might uh, stream again over the weekend, perhaps. Uh, if not, I'll see you guys um, early next week. Okay. I think the next bill is gonna be uh, T.J. Alice and Polycarbonate. So I'll see you guys. On that one. Take it easy.